how's it going guys welcome to another video today we're gonna switch it up it's not a building video but it is something Gundam related so we're gonna get into what I have for you guys today and this one's pretty cool um, I ended up finding these on a pop hunt with my girlfriend uh, we were was it New York Comic Con yeah it was New York Comic Con we were at Barnes & Noble we were waiting to get the Magneto and the Wonder Woman um, exclusives uh, for that year or for this year um, and we ended up like waiting in line we ended up getting the Magneto and the Wonder Woman and then I was kind of like looking around and I ended up seeing these and I was like what are these and I was like are they models are they figures what are they so I'm not even too sure what they are if they're models I'll probably crack one open and then speed it up for you guys. That way you don't have to watch me like build it for like 10 minutes straight. Uh, but if it's not, if it's a figure, I'll crack it open and we'll talk about it. And I'll show you, a, I'll show you a little bit more details of the figure. But let me show you, let me, let me stop talking. <laughs> let me show you what it is. So it's pretty much this right here. This was so cool so this is pretty much it's kind of it's like a Gundam it legit is like a Gundam so that's what it looks like but the the thing is I don't know if it's a figure or or if it's actually like a model that you have to put together so I have six of these different ones because they're different different models and everything right so i have six of these i'm gonna open them up we're gonna talk about them we're gonna review them and then we're gonna see what's up uh i'm pretty sure you can find these at your local like hobby store or your local like game store but i ended up finding these at barnes and noble just in case of some of you are like that's really cool i want one barnes and noble that's where it's at so yeah so let's get into these and see let's see what's in the box because i'm excited all right, so let's get into these. I'm kind of looking forward to these. Um, I have six different ones, right? Technically, I have two blues, two greens, and some of these. Uh, let's start off with the original. Can't go wrong with that one, right? So we're going to get into this one. Oh, sorry. To this one. Right there. if I have to build anything that'd be cool uh, it's already looking like negative oh maybe oh <gasps> that's cool so it's a little figure it's a little plastic case or bag or whatever right and it comes with a backpack his gun uh, a handle for his gun and a stand. Oh. And then in here, I thought these were going to be stickers. I was like, oh, no, stickers, my mortal enemy. So it comes with his little jetpacks and his little V crown. Nice. All right, let's get into this one. One time plastic is in my enemy. You know, as simple as this looks, I feel like I need instructions. Oh, well. Oh, his head fell off. Alrighty, here we go. Okay, so put his head back on. His crown goes here. And then, oh, let's see, get in there. Okay, so his crown is on. <gasps> oh my God, his arms move. Oh, they just move up and down, but still, do his legs move? No, just his arms. <gasps> That's kind of cool. That's kind of cool for a figure, for its arms to move. That's cool. I also like the details. Mm -hmm. For something 
this small, right? This small, because it's pretty small, fits in my hand, right? So for something this small to be that detailed, look at it, just, just glance at it, enjoy it. It's, it's pretty detailed, you know? So that pack goes here, right? You would safely assume. Let's, oh, that's his gun. Where's his? Hello, handle. That's right there. It looks like his hand does twist, but I don't think I'm supposed to. I'm not trying to break it neither. Because on here, it looks like it's he's holding it sideways. But it doesn't, it doesn't go sideways. Yeah, and I'm not trying to force it either, because I'm not trying to break it. This is a pretty cool model or figure. I'll just finish putting this together. This goes here. And it's kind of like that rubbery kind of figure. Kind of like, um, I don't know, like an eraser from back in school. For those of you that are still in school, an eraser. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Sorry. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. This is pretty cool. Where am I going? All right. Let's get into another one. This was neat. Okay, so I was kind of like, not scared, but I was kind of like, oh man, these are going to be kind of like, if they're, if they're actual like model kits, I was like, oh man, these are going to be kind of, annoying to put together but no they're figures technically you have to build them because they come in pieces right so that's pretty neat it gives you that it gives you that gunpla experience without the gunpla experience which is cool you get a little figure that you can put on your desk or you can put like uh somewhere else so look this one okay so we cracked open this guy right oh we cracked open this guy and this guy only came with one bag, and that's it. See, you have your figure, his hands, a backpack, and this little stand. So let's get into this. Oh, his arm's falling apart already. Cool, his arms come off. Oh, I wonder, oh, his arms come off too. Hmm. Gives me an idea. I'm gonna do some customizing. If I get a couple of these that have almost the same body parts. Because these have pointy parts for the arms. And this one has studs. Or you can call them male, female parts for the car parts. So this is female, if I remember correctly. The other one's male. All right, put this guy together. Oh, it wasn't a backpack. This was his head. Oh, he's so cute. His claws. This is so cool. I need to. I need to get me one of these models. Oh, I'll put him on the stand. So I need to get one of these models. I actually, 
So out of all the figures that I get, or out of all the model kits that I build, I never have built one of these that have the the sonar eye or whatever, the, the one eye. I always build like model kits that look like this, you know? So I feel that, let me switch it out. Cause this one looks pretty cool. Even though like, you know, it's pretty basic. You're like, oh man, he doesn't have two eyes. <laughs> But it looks cool. I'm super happy how this one looks. So we're gonna take a look at him. Nice. Hey, let's go. We're already on the roll. Uh, let's see. I opened up the purple guy. Let's open up this green guy that has the one eye. Maybe he'll have similar pieces, and we can start messing around and changing them up okay so this one only comes with three things so it's the it's the model the model his little axe and the stand gonna ask for anything else oh come on come oh he wears his plastic again out his axe and here oh here's the figure okay oh okay so see you have to put it well you can only put it in the right hand but the little end piece is there so that's pretty cool so technically he's holding his axe and his arm come off oh because that this hand moves maybe the other one does too I just didn't want to force it and break it. Yeah, so on this one, the hands move. They do a whole 360. Same thing with this one. So that's that's pretty cool. And this one, so the hand comes off and it's one of these pieces. Let's see if... Oh, it's not the same. Yeah, it's not the same. So it doesn't fit in here. It's okay. Oh, his head moves. So his head does move. It wiggles, which is cool. This is cool. We're on a roll, let's keep going. Okay, so only one plastic. I guess the the main one was the only one too, because it has more detailed parts. So in here that's what we have. Oh that's his little Antenna on the back. Yep. Okay. So let's get into this one. Try not to lose the antenna. Come on. Can't lose it if it doesn't come out. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna start off with the antenna. I'm really not trying to lose it. All right. It's in there. Ooh, his arms come up. Oh, snap. Let's find out. Ah, oh, it's not the same. This one's smaller. Oh. I'm really trying to switch them up, but I guess they did it like that on purpose so people like me wouldn't be trying to do customizing stuff, I guess. This goes here, because it's his gun, right? His head moves, so as you can see. Oh, his head does move. His arms move. 
His hands do not move, only this one, because we had to put it on because it has a, uh, it comes off and the gun's already attached to it. So yeah, and then his shield, which goes on this hand. It's like a shield, kind of like poker thing. Put him on his stand. And there we go. There's this one. This one looks cool. I like the colors because it's like blue on blue. Never could go wrong with blue on blue. And then he has a little green uh I'm touching my head, but you guys can't see my face. He said he has a green little um emblem on his on his helmet and his eyes are green as well, so that's pretty cool. And they're that they're that like plastic glass ring so pretty good pretty good all right cool now we have another one with two pieces so that's pretty cool so it comes with these and then his little crown his weapon which is Looks like a shotgun, but it's like a little, little hand cannon. So I like this one because it reminds me. I don't know if you guys know, but um, from Mega Man Zero, there was a, a there's like a boss, and kind of looked like this. He was green and had like some some red going on. It's kind of annoying to deal with, honestly. But I saw this one, and it reminded me of him. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, settle down. Settle down. Come on. Come on, look. There you go. One more. One more. I just went cam on this last one. It was like, I don't got time for you. Let's go. All right, uh, his head came off, so we'll just pop that back in. Ah, oh, interesting. Gotta get the box, okay. So he does have a crown thingy. Hmm, oh, okay, cool, cool. So you see this head, right? And it does have a crown thingy that goes here, right? But let's say you didn't want the crown. You can just leave it with the basic head piece that it comes with. But we don't want that. We want the crown. So you can switch it out, which is pretty cool. I like that. I like that even for something as simple as this or as small as this, you can customize it if you would like. Oh, that's cool too. Let's see, his hand comes off, and then you can put the other hand on there that has the blaster. All right, so let's finish this one up. Uh, gotta look at the. I need to go this way. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Ooh, does the backpack come off? It does. Oh, that's neat. Hmm. Let's see. Still trying to customize these guys. Oh, snaps. The first customized of this build. Yeah. Switch the wings out on this guy that's pretty cool and then we're gonna put this backpack here because I can I think that's one thing I do, I do like about Gundams even though I don't do them myself but you can customize your Gundam however you want you can give them a different backpack. You can 
give them like different arms. Oh, which reminds me. But, if I remember correct, oh, let's see, uh, nope, oh yeah, oh snaps, sorry guys, you're like, what's going on, I should have left this for the end, I should have done the customizing part at the end oh my god look at this oh he's, he's so cool sorry ah, it's like your own little creation nice that's cool all right, all right enough of that let me put him back how he's supposed to be right and we'll do some customizing later which is over here so I like that. I like the <clears throat> if you buy a couple of these, I only bought six, that you can interchange them. Oh, okay, it's on there. Interesting. How do I know which way is up? I just put it here. Here's. Here's. Nice. Nice. So, here's what it's supposed to look like. So, it's supposed to look like that. Right. Last but not least. Also, they didn't notice it says their name. So this one is Gundam Geminus. So you have your little model. You have a gun, a shield, a headpiece, and a stand. So let's put on his head, his headpiece, because we don't want to lose that. My girlfriend's going to love this one because it's purple. Even though it looks like dark blue, it has that little purple shimmy. Okay, his hands turn. His hands turn. Which is cool. I can put the gun in there and you can be like shooting it like this on the side this little shield this shield's a little bit of, a little bit more detailed which is cool and then a stand now here's a backpack which comes off as well. Ooh. See? Comes off. And his arms. His arms are pretty small. So we can swap this out with the green ones parts. To do some more customizing as well. Nice. So here's your. Here's your view of that. Looking pretty cool. And yeah, there you guys have it. That's, those are the figures right there.
right, guys, that was the opening right there. I'm not calling this one a build because it wasn't really a build. I guess a little bit, but it's mostly an opening. I did enjoy it, and I like the fact that as we were progressing, we were able to interchange parts, like the backpacks we were able to change, and we are able to change some of the arms. So I think these figures were actually worth getting, you know. Uh, they were kind of pricey. They were 7 bucks at Barnes & Noble. But I'm pretty sure if you go to like a local hobby store, they'll probably be cheaper. You know, places like Barnes & Noble, Target, Walmart, they always price up their stuff because they're big, big house retailers, so they can do that. But I'm pretty sure if you go to your like local hobby store or like collectible place or your little Asian shop like in like Chinatown or something like that, I'm pretty sure you can find these for like 5 bucks, Easy. Uh, or at least more affordable than what I had to pay, you know? But overall, these were great figures. Let me show you just a couple of them. I'm not going to show you all of them because we already, we already went through them. So just the details on this are amazing. It does have little, like, ridges or little, uh, yeah, pretty much ridges or little places where you can mark it up with a pen. Uh, which will make it just look a little bit more detailed, which is always great. So, and the fact that they're pretty sturdy, you know, like they would, they'll, they'll be great to put on a shelf, you know, or put on your desk. Or if you're adventurous enough and have a ton of super glue. I've seen people super glue some of these, not these, but like other types of models on their car. You can do that as well. These wouldn't be half bad to you put on your car you know um that's pretty much it uh i don't think i have anything negative to say about these they even though they're they're small right they're still pretty cool you know if you're if you're not into gunpla you're not into taking gunpla apart and putting them together and doing all that stuff and cutting and all that good stuff and sanding down if you're not into that but you like the anime you like the show and you want to display something Gundam related, this is perfect. Uh, these are perfect for that for that person that isn't too big into Gunpla but still likes the show or likes the anime that they want to display and tell people, hey, these are what Gundams are and spark the conversation. That's, that's pretty much it. So with that said, guys, Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to share the video with anybody that you think would be interested in Gundam stuff. Also, if you guys are new to the channel, subscribe. It helps the growth. We're almost there. Like, I'm so glad that I've chosen this direction of the channel and we're doing stuff that I actually enjoy. Don't, don't get me wrong. I, I enjoy Pokemon stuff too, but this just has an easier place in my heart I can say so with that said guys thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time thanks for sticking to the end of the video don't forget to follow me on social media to stay connected see you guys on the next one